Bud Black has inherited a bullpen that uh, Bruce Bochy has certainly enjoyed these past three four years in the Petco era. Not quite the same setup in San Francisco not nearly as reliable. And ball four to sledge in fact to back that up Mudcat talking about how unreliable the San Francisco bullpen has been. Last year the Giants relief ERA 4.73 only the Milwaukee Brewers had a worse bullpen earned run average after the base on balls now it's Russell Brannion to pinch hit with runners at first and second just going to mention here's a little bit of that pop off the bench that you know you run into one it's three run shot right here in the ninth He checks it on a split fingered fastball for a strike it's one and one pumping up on that old Benitez velocity circa early 90s from Baltimore one and two now late noise at all we're going to head that way San Diego kept off the scoreboard in the top of the ninth inning Trevor time day two of the season in San Francisco with a five to three lead if situation of 07 see some good play behind all of the pitchers this evening Eliezer Alfonso will pinch hit to lead things off against Hoffman in the ninth and he obliges quite nicely. A harmless fly ball for Brian Giles one pitch one out for Trevor in the ninth. How do you think giant manager Bruce Bochy is feeling right about now seeing number 51 out there on the hill and he's in a different uniform. I, I would imagine he feels really weird. I mean these two had such a great working relationship for such a long time Trevor owes a lot of his success to Boch and vice versa. Back to the top of the order Dave Roberts again crucial for Trevor in this in this save opportunity is getting through the Giants in order because should Roberts or Vizquel reach base Barry Bonds will have an opportunity. There's some pertinent numbers here Roberts is hitless 0 for 2 against Trevor as an opponent. That's lined into center Cameron takes the side door and makes the catch. Routine business for Hoffy. One out. But the two the two games could not have been played out any differently. Yesterday, never close. The Padres had a run in the first and one in a laugher. Tonight it was the Giants that drew first blood. One nothing after the Bonds home run in the first. Two nothing after three. San Diego took the lead in the fifth. The Giants tied it. The Padres got the two run Gonzalez home run in the eighth and that's the lead that Trevor's trying to send home tonight. <laughs> first change of strikes the first change of the year Maddie was a doozy. location seems to be pretty pretty good the change up for the strike taken and with the purpose pitch there the change up in the dirt knowing he was ahead one and two this gal lines to short greeny gobbles it up and the Padres have beaten the Giants again five to three San Diego tonight Bud Black moves to 2 and 0 oh as a major league manager as 2007 has started out very nicely indeed for the San Diego Padres. 5 to 3 the final score in San Francisco tonight. Mud and I are back right after this. See why just about right on his average something that we talked about earlier that we promised we'd revisit. Starting hitters 0 and 2. 7 of the 27 hitters that he's faced tonight. He started on 0 and 2. He's 1 and 2 here to Matt King. Again, trying to strand the leadoff double. The 2 and 2. He got him. 
Five strikeouts for C.Y. Seven innings is shutout baseball. Seventh inning stretch of a scoreless tie. Matt Kane is approaching 100 pitches. And there's the first knock of the ball game. On cue, Khalil Green with another extra base hit as Bonds has trouble with it and left. A double for Greeny leading off the seventh. Matt Cain is up over 100 pitches. His per start average was one of the highest in the National League last year. One of Missing up to Brannion one and two. League against an American League team. Don't have to worry about pulling your pitcher. Maybe leave, leave a little bit more leash. Mm -hmm. Bad news for the Dodgers. Ooh. I think he got Mo and two to three and two to ball four. So important to get a knock here. Get a point. Get that decision, at least a chance, for Chris Young to get a victory. Show bunt right there and then have him swing away the second time. What do you think, Tony? Well, that, that last pitch, Pedro Feliz didn't charge. He stayed home. And Rich Aurelia charged hard from first base. So if he lays it down, he wants to go to third base. Nice. He does get it down. What a perfect bunt. A guy that's not called on to sacrifice often lays down the perfect sacrifice bunt. A tough pinch hitting assignment coming off the bench to have to face Matt Cain. Jeff Blum, the batter off the bench for San Diego. Infield in for the Giants. One and one. Oof. Awfully tough to check. It's one and two. How about that? How about that? Get over the porch fence! Wow. Wynn makes the catch. Tagging up, however, is Green. one nothing San Diego. Oh, is that tough duty? A 1-2 pitch. Blum has enough to drive in the run. His first RBI of the year is the big one. You know, Randy Wynn, for a moment there, I thought maybe he was going to let that ball foul and fall in foul territory. A hanging breaking ball, and Blum hits it right down the line. And, you know, this is going to be a foul ball, I think. Yeah, that's really close. That's a good point, though, Tony. And I'm sure he had to think about it, and instead he makes the play. The runner's able to tag up and score and give the Padres a 1 0 lead. Brannion's deep, and Aurelia looks bunt. On a sharp hop for Green. Three pitches, two outs for the all time closer. Trying to get a fast. Cut down the range. Uh, cut, Trying to get, get a, a fastball. fastball. Oh, okay. Trying to get a fastball. He got it. Hit it hard. But hit it to Lil Green. E.T. Gwynn. <laughs> Kudos to Chiron Bob Wiersdorfer for unearthing that <laughs> nugget in about five minutes. <laughs> Boy, that's a gem. There's Benji Molina representing the last chance. That actually came from our great media relations department. We got to make sure we hand out the proper credit. All right. Uh -oh. Molina with a drive into center. Cameron's on the move. It's against the track and up against the wall. Him. The throw to second. <laughs> CY looking for his first ever win against San Francisco. A swing and a miss. It bounces away from Bard. He'll throw down to finish the play and finish the ball game. San Diego wins a thriller downtown tonight. one nothing Padres. Chris Young has defeated the Giants for the first time in his career. Seven fantastic shutout innings for CY. Seven combined hits tonight. And for the first time in over 30 years, the San Diego Padres have won a game with two base hits. We have so much to talk about. Tony Mudd and I are back after this.